Oh, 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 oh boy. We got some fire cooked up today, guys. So this is your boy Tacho here, and we are about to have the time of our lives because I waited and waited and waited and waited, and finally I'm going to be able to do the thing. <laughs> so I waited for this banner to drop so we could get the paralogs and the Tempest Trials and get the orbs from all of that stuff, and I did a couple more summons. I think I did like one or two more summons, actually, on this banner over here, and I was finally able to get my copy of Tana. So we're, we're going to have just this massive daisy chain inheritance going on at the end of the video. But before that, we might as well just go ahead and hop into the I green banner and see if we can pull a copy of Bays over here. So I would like to get them, even though I'm not going to go too crazy on this banner. Let's just snipe blue and maybe hope for the best, I guess. All right, we'll go, bl we'll go green, I guess, in case we don't get blue so we can maybe get Altina. Okay, that is not Altina, although that is a character from this game. All right, let's keep going. I did my freebie already. I don't remember who I got. I, I The only reason I did the freebie was to try and get a quick eye green so that I could use her for the Tempest Trial, <laughs> but it didn't work out that way. I don't remember who I got, but let me know in the comment section who you guys were able to get on your free summon on the banner. And if you are going in, then hopefully you guys are going to have some good luck here and hopefully manage to pull your copy of I green. All right, so yeah, basically, really the only thing I want here is I green. This banner is a skip. You guys should not be summoning on this banner. Although, that being said, I do also think I green is a must summon, which may sound weird to say because the banner is a skip, and yet there's a unit on here that's that good that you probably would like to get a copy of her. But the thing is, if you've already got team comps ready for like SDS and things like that, You've got a defense team set up. I don't really think I Green is necessarily going to shake up the meta already, like from what we've already got going on. However, if you are able to get her, then she is going to be able to put in a ton of work. You can set up a new Aether Raids defense team that's basically like a Hinoka line, except with a bunch of infantry types now. And the reason why that's so cool is because a lot of the infantry units are just better at nuking than some of the flyers and cavalry types that we typically run for lines. So, like... Infantry have access to some of the most disgusting skills like infantry null follow-up and speed and defense tempo 4 and things like that. We've also got some crazy ranged infantry types that are now able to get bonus movement as a start a turn bonus. So like Leg Legendary Krom just shot up in value once again. <laughs> now that dude can move three spaces a turn. Like come on. And it also powers him up too because he's moving three spaces and then he also gets the other effect from I green. And the more bonuses he's got, the better he is. And there we go. <laughs> so, we walked out like a boss. We were able to get her before the spark. And this is plus attack, minus defense. Plus attack is not a super boon for them. However, they like to spam AoEs. So, plus attack is actually very, very good for them. Let's go ahead and lock them up. And <laughs> take a quick second to appreciate this wonderful artwork. They have really good artwork. You love to see it. Two baddies, very scantily clad for the desert banner. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, 10 summons to get in my green, I'll definitely take it. <laughs> what is that, 50 orbs? We, we didn't even use 50 orbs. We used like 40 orbs or something. I think I started on 64. So we, we did pretty good there. All right, now let's go ahead and do the thing. <laughs> I'm about to sound like Varric from Legend of Korra. <laughs> Julie, do the thing. Okay, so hold on. Let's... Okay, we want to start start sorting by rearmed and attunes and flyers. So the first order of business is to grab the Tana that I summoned. And then what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and inherit soaring guidance on her. So let's go ahead and find my Ivy. I didn't even bother leveling up my Ivy or anything like that. Like, she's still at level 1. I don't care. I could use her to get the, like, 40 flowers from the trial thing, but I don't even care. I already went ahead and did the prerequisite fodder, so we can just pick up everything right here, and we don't have to dilly-dally or anything like that. So there we go. <laughs> Milk and Ivy for everything she's worth. Right, let's go ahead and do that there, and Tana is now good to go. She's got Soaring Guidance and Guidance 4. Next order of business, let's go ahead and give all of that stuff to our Ingrid. And things are actually about to pick up. You, you don't even realize how insane this inherit chain is about to be, guys. This is the daisy chain of all daisy chains. All right, so what we want to do for her now... So we want to give her... 
Hold on, where... Am I not able to do it? <laughs> Wait a second, where is Guidance 4 and Soaring Guides? I'm supposed to have it, right? Do I have to learn it? We have Soaring Guidance right there. We've got Guidance 4 right there. Why am I not able to inherit those things off to my Ivy right here? Yeah, we can't do it? Oh, am I doing it in reverse? Hold on. We're supposed to... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I, I was about to make a big boo-boo, it looks like. <laughs> My bad, guys. We don't want to mess this up. I've been waiting months and months to do this. We cannot afford to screw this up, guys. <laughs> we have to do this correctly. Okay, so now we find Tana. Yeah, I, I was actually doing it... Wait, what? Yeah, I was actually doing it in reverse there. My bad. All right, so Tana's over there. Okay, so we want to give her Soaring Guidance, Guidance 4. And that, that's pretty much it, honestly. I guess we could go for Attack Speed Unity as well. I I honestly don't really care about that, but... Should we do it? I mean, is there really a point? There's not really a point, man. I, I don't even care. Let's just <laughs> grab whatever we can. This is the real meat and potatoes here. We want Guidance 4, we want Soaring Guidance. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so that's done. Now, here's where things get a little bit saucy. So you didn't expect me to do this, did you? All right, where is she? I pulled this unit not so long ago. Hold on, where is she? Okay, over here. So I got an extra copy of Alincia on Cavacer's banners, surprisingly. So we can also go ahead and get aerial maneuvers. All we got to do is go ahead and do all of that. So now Ingrid's got aerial maneuvers as well. Let's go ahead and pick that up. So now any copy of Ingrid I get just has Guidance 4, Soaring Guidance, and freaking aerial maneuvers as fodder and Arcane Lewin. So I could just build Lance Flyers for days with any copy of Ingrid that I get. Okay, next up what we want to do is go to... Let's see here. We want um, Attuned Peony next. So there she is, and we're going to go ahead and grab a ton of stuff from Ingrid now. So this is what we're taking from Ingrid. All right, y'all ready for this? You're not even ready for this. Guard bearing four, aerial maneuvers. We're going to go ahead and get guidance four and soaring guidance. Look at that. Oh my god, dude. That is... I might actually nut. Like, <laughs> dude, that is so crazy. Look at that. All right, let's go ahead and do it, man. Oh my god. Such a massive power up there. Look at this. Any copy of Peony I get can now give out all of that stuff. And we're not done. We're, we're, we're not done yet, guys. We got more. <laughs> this is the never-ending daisy chain. Didn't you know? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and grab our Triandra up next. And hold on. We're, we're not even done yet. You guys... Wait, 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 wait. wait. I, I don't want to do this wrong. Hold on. I had something else planned as well. L let's get back Peony. Before we start daisy chaining into Triandra, there is one more thing I want to get. All right, where is she? All right, the sinner. Yeah, this. Look, look at this girl. You don't go to Easter dressed like that, sis. Sorry. So I, I've been waiting like a million years to finally get rid of this unit, and we're going to be able to do it. Let's also pick up rain, I guess. Why not? Like, it doesn't really matter. So now we're getting Firestorm Dance also. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and do the thing with our Attuned Triandra. Okay. Actually, we don't even need to sort by sort. There's only two Attuned heroes that I have. So we want Triandra over there, and then we want Peony over there, and then we're going to go ahead and grab Soaring Guidance. We're going to grab Guidance 4. We're going to go ahead and grab Firestorm Dance, and we're going to get Aerial Maneuvers. I would have loved to get Guard Bearing, but I didn't have any more copies of Guard Bearing 3, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to settle for this, and this is perfectly fine. I mean, look at that. <laughs> look, look at all of that juice right there. That is the ultimate in inheritance, man. Oh my god. So whenever these two rerun, like any copy I pull of them is just the bomb. Like Somebody is about to get decked out to the nines. We're still not done yet, guys. We got more. I told you, this is, this is the ultimate daisy chain. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and go for 
Plumeria here, and we're going to give her all the stuff. So we'll give her Soaring Guidance. We'll give her Guidance 4. We'll give her Firestorm Dance. And unfortunately, she can't get Aerial Maneuvers. Yeah, she can't get Aerial Maneuvers because she is a Range-type unit. We could give her the Echo skill, though, actually. Do we want to do that? I think we do, right? Because there's nothing else that I can really give her. So why don't we go ahead and just grab Deathblow Echo? <laughs> why not? Even though she's not... Plumeria is unfortunately unable to pass the Echo skill, but, like, there's nothing else that I can actually grab here. <laughs> because, unfortunately, range flyers don't get, like, all the good infantry stuff or melee stuff. All right, let's go ahead and do that. And now we have, from one copy of Guidance 4 and one copy of Soaring Guidance, we just gave it to, like, five people. And we still have Plumeria's Inherit, so I could still give that to one more person. So I wonder, who, who should that one more person be, huh? I, I would think I, I want to give it to Duo Thor or Harmonic Anna. Like, those are the two that I use the most for SD. Ah, man. The, do I want to do that right now, though? Because I still haven't picked up another copy of Travent. Travent is the guy who has aerial maneuvers or the prerequisite for aerial... Not aerial maneuvers. What am I talking about? Travent has the prerequisite for soaring guidance. He's got flying flyer guidance three. So I actually used up all my copies of Travent right there. So I don't have any more left, unfortunately. I'm going to have to dip into the Heroic Grail shop. But somebody in my barracks, some flyer, is about to be a very happy person with the amount of skills they're about to get. She's also got G Wings of Mercy 4, and she's also got Def Res Ploy 3. So like those are also possible inherits that I could give. So th there you guys go. We did the thing at last after waiting... A million billion years, I was finally able to just, like, <laughs> power myself up. I turned into a Super Saiyan today. Pretty much. That's how it feels like. So all of these guys now have Soaring Guidance and Guidance 4. So all of them also being attuned and rearmed heroes. The more copies of them I get, the better it's going to be in the future. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hopefully you guys were able to have some good luck and pull the <laughs> duo baddies on the Desert Banner. But that's going to wrap us up for this one. So, hope y'all enjoyed it. I know I definitely did. Months and months, man. I can't even stress that. It took... When did I start preparing to do this? I think it was like when King Freyer came out. That was when I got my copy of Ingrid. Yeah, because like Ingrid was color sharing with King Freyer on his original banner. And I, I didn't necessarily summon to get him. I just summoned to get copies of Ingrid. And I did. And I didn't use all of my Ingrids for fodder. I deliberately held on to one because I was like, eventually I'm going to get Guidance 4 or Soaring Guidance and I'll be able to, like, deck out all my other units. And because of that reason, I also specifically picked up one copy of all the flying, attuned, and rearmed heroes as well. So I'd be able to give all of them the same skill. So, yeah, man, it, it feels good. <laughs> it really does. When you wait... When you're so patient that it takes months and months, like this might have been at least like half a year whenever this guy came out. So six months of waiting to finally do the thing and my god, that was awesome.